Hey everybody, so this is Dr. Abhachuk. Uh, I'm here to share a few quick tips about MBBS, uh, preparing for NEET PG and working during internship simultaneously and how I cracked NEET PG. So recently I gave NEET PG 2023 and I scored a rank of 3971. So I'm finally gonna achieve my dream of doing MS surgery. So let's start with the journey of MBBS first. Um, according to me, the first and second year subjects, which are the paraclinical subjects, are the main subjects you need to build your foundation, right? Uh, whoever's doing MBBS must be knowing this stuff. So you need to learn the basics very nicely. You have to uh, focus on the basics. Otherwise, if your foundation is weak, you're going to struggle throughout third and fourth year. So I would recommend uh, joining if, if you want to join any courses, online courses, offline courses. There are a lot of institutes in the race these days, so you can join anything. Or you can just focus on your main textbooks that you get in college and study hard and take some advice from your seniors and your teachers. I'm sure they're gonna be really helpful. So you focus on the basics first and once you get through them, third and fourth year is gonna be an easy piece of cake. So it's gonna be easy. So basically, uh, once you enter third and fourth year, you have to keep in touch with your basics. You can't just forget about first and second year subjects. You start studying for third and fourth year and uh, you sort of correlate the first and second year subjects with the final clinical subjects, right? So that'll make your concepts stronger, that'll help you in your final year as well. So basically, um, these things you need to keep in mind. You have to study every day, doesn't matter if you're an MBBS, doesn't matter if you're doing internship or preparing for NEET PG. Every day consistency is the key. Other than that, uh, once you start your internship, right? So internship is a very critical period. Most people think, oh, it's a lot of work, so why study, why, you know, bother studying along with working so much but that's not how it should be see basically you're doing internship to get in touch with your clinical skills to get in touch with how the hospital works what all goes inside of it what you're going to be like when you finally become a doctor and you know work somewhere so basically uh, once you start working in your internship i would recommend do not stop studying okay and do not bunk your postings either. It doesn't have to be either you just have to work or you just have to study. Some people just basically bunk all the postings, they never attend, they, they basically um, miss out on such great experiences. So you're not supposed to do that. You should definitely go and attend all your clinical postings, learn as much as you can and get as much clinical exposure as possible because that clinical exposure is finally going to help you out in your theory portion when you'll be preparing for NEET PG. So a lot of students worry what should we do about NEET PG, when should we start preparing. See it's never too late, you can start from first year itself. The basic thing that you need to do is you have to get your basics clear, like I said, the first thing is that. Then afterwards, third year, you can start preparing for NEET PG because third year is said to be the easiest of all years. It has the least amount of subjects. And now the curriculum has changed. So a few of the third year subjects of that and ENT have also moved into the fourth year subjects. So definitely start preparing in uh, third year because you'll have a lot of free time. Also do other cu curricular activities. Nobody's stopping you, but definitely start putting in the extra hours every day to study for your NEET PG. Then other than that, it doesn't matter if you're preparing for NEET PG or any other exams, you should definitely start preparing for third year itself. And uh, uh, afterwards, so in internship, when you learn all those clinical things, getting back to internship, when you learn all those cl clinical things third year, uh, uh, internship, man, you can put all those important clinical uh, facts and the things that you see in the hospital and come back home and utilize it in your uh, you know, st studying for NEET PG prep. Because the thing is, you can apply everything. These days, the pattern is changing. There is all this controversy going on next. We don't know when it's gonna happen, but the point is whenever it does, you have to be prepared for it. And even if next isn't happening, NEET is still there and NEET PG has a lot of clinical questions these days. So the exam that I just gave, NEET PG 2023, it had most of the questions in clinical form. They will give you a whole clinical, uh, 
scenario and they will ask you the questions accordingly they just want to you know turn it around turn you around like basically turn you in circles so you get confused but it's not really that difficult it's pretty simple if you know what keywords to focus on what to see in the question so in internship do not bunk your postings definitely go i feel the hospital is the best place to learn the words are, have to be your textbooks and you know you just learn so much when you're there uh, in my personal experience i learned the most there and i definitely applied everything um, in my uh, theory knowledge when i was prepping so basically uh, that'll be my advice for all the interns preparing for neat pg uh, definitely try to give a few hours of the day to your prep from day one don't wait for the last three four months to come that's not gonna happen because sort of that is what i did so in internship i got so indulged in prepare like you know the clinical part of it that i used to attend my postings very seriously and i kind of didn't used to spare any time for doing mcqs or preparing for the theory but that part is important too you have to give 50 50 so when you learn in the hospital you have to make time four to five hours every day to come back home and study for neat pg afterwards once the last three four months are there you have to increase your hours you have to increase your prep and make sure you start doing mcqs from day one so that is how you can get a good rank in NEET PG after your internship directly. A lot of people score good. This year, the rank one of NEET PG, she gave her NEET PG during internship. She's from VMMC Delhi and she attained an amazing rank, All India rank one, and she did it while doing internship. So anything's possible. It's not true that you cannot give it right after internship. For me, in my case, I was more focused on the clinical part of it, so I took a drop year afterwards. I wanted to sit at home and prepare nicely, just completely focus on it. I don't think that's a wrong approach either. A lot of people take a drop year, take two drop years. It's completely up to you, the amount of uh, efforts you want to put in, the rank that you want, the branch that you want. You should be very clear with the branch that you want. So internship is going to be very helpful going to give you a whole clinical exposure so you'll be posted in every single branch right and you can decide which branch you want to pursue later on if you're still con confused you can you know later on join an institute or just go for an hour or so in a nearby hospital or something or a clinic if you have family members or doctors and then you can just check out which what sort of lifestyle you want what sort of branch you're actually interested in when you study thanks for watching